to say Nado. Let's go up to the bar garage and find out what Victor's working on today. In our last video, we took the wheel off the Corvette, took it to the tire store to get the tire, took off of the wheel, and remounted because it was leaking around the rim. In this video, we will be plugging the tire on the Mustang. And now you can plug the tire while it's still on the car, but that gives us no excuse to play with the Milwaukee Fuel, which has become my favorite tool. Now you gotta have a thin weld socket for these because these are my play slot mags. And not a, real, a lot of room around these lug nuts on these old slot mags. These old slot mags came on the 73s. This is a 72 Mach 1. And if you paid the extra for the sport wheels in 72, you got 500 wheels, which I have over there. And I've got really nice tires on those. Those are for going to car shows. And these are for playing around on the street. And like I said, they didn't come out till 73. So they're not correct for the 72. Tires in this condition, you should probably just replace it. But then, I wouldn't be able to make a video about loading tires. So the first thing you do when you're going to plug a tire is put some air in it. Because you're not going to be able to find where the leak is. You don't have any air. You don't have to have much of an air compressor. A little portable like this one that we use for our home renovations and our St. Enterprises channel will do just fine. But if you want to do a lot of work on cars and you want to paint and all kinds of other stuff, then watch my video on how we modded this compressor right here and put this big honking three-cylinder air compressor on it. And you talk about pumping up some air. This sucker will pump up some air. Okay, next step is we want to check and see if there's any air coming out the sidewall or the bead where the tire meets the rim. Wet that sidewall down real good. We don't want too much water pressure because we're looking for bubbles and too much water pressure causes a lot of bubbles. It's confusing. That looks good on that. Outside, oh my rim is nasty, isn't it? Look at that, how nasty that thing is. If you know of a really good product, to take all that nastiness off the rim without me having to do a lot of scrubbing, then let me know in the comments below what it is you use and how well it works. All right, looks like we're not leaking any air out of the sidewall there. And I don't see a bunch of bubbles coming out around the bead either. Now it's time to check out the tread. Let's see if we've got a bunch of bubbles in the tread. Now, there's some air trapped right here from surface tension. So we're gonna break that by rubbing our hand across there. no plug and there's look there's it's still leaking where it's plugged right there see all those bubbles so there's one place for sure lots of bubbles there if we got any more There's another plug, but it's not leaking. And right there, that plug is leaking. We're gonna have to redo that plug. Like I said, this, this kind of tire, you should really just replace it. But this is our play tires for the weekend, doing burnouts, 
donuts, that sort of thing. We wouldn't do that on uh, public streets, but we've got some private parking lots around here. We can do that sort of thing. Uh, also, not something you should be doing on YouTube, but some of our uh, members that watch our channel and stuff, we watch their channel, uh, got busted. If you guys up north, the police do watch your channel, and they got copies of your videos if you break the law you can get prosecuted so you got play tires and stuff like that make sure you don't do it on public streets and don't film it and stick it on youtube that's for sure this is my favorite style plug kits it's not because it's got my name on it it's because it's got these nice handles here and you'll see in a minute why here's something else you could give me an answer in the comments for you see my neighbor's Mustang over there? And notice I'm doing a video here. It cranks up the lawnmower and starts making a bunch of racket. You think maybe after this we should crank up the old Mach 1 and drive by and show them what a real Mustang sounds like? Okay, so this is my favorite pliers for doing this kind of stuff because you can really dig down in here and grab stuff. And then because of this angle right here you can just lean them back and it gives you some leverage once you dig all that stuff out it's usually a nail or a screw or something now if you got a screw then you should use this cordless screwdriver if it's still got a head on it and unscrew it out of there rather than just ripping it out of there Nails, you got to be careful with them too, because nails could be bent when they're in there and do more damage when you're pulling them out if you're not careful about how you pull them out. Another thing too is with a lot of, if there's a lot of tire air pressure in the tire, you could end up getting hit in the face or even the eye with the nail. So wear some glasses while you're doing this. Once you dig everything out of there, then it's time to take this here and clean up the hole good. And then you leave that sit there while you load up one of your plugs into this tool right here. First you got to get one out, which isn't always easy where these, these pliers come in handy again. Woo! And wear some old gloves. I keep a specific pair of gloves with my tire kit that I only use with the tire kit because they end up getting tar all over them. Try to squeeze that as close to the tip as you possibly can and still be able to load it and thread that thing like threading a needle. Once you get a certain amount through there, you can switch to the other side with your pliers and pull it the rest of the way through. I'll put a link to the kit and to these pliers and I always put links to everything I use in my videos in the description so that if you don't ha if, if there's something you don't have you can find it easily and I try to find the best deal on it if you go to one of my links and you know of a better deal then let me know in the comments so I can change it or if one of my links doesn't work let me know so I can fix it that way y'all can easily find the best deals around without having to hunt and hunt. Now, this is a larger container than what comes with the kit. That small dinky thing, I, I put on so much glue when I do these that I use up the little tube very quickly. So I always order and keep a large tube of this stuff because I, I believe in putting a liberal amount on here when plugging tires. 
especially if you're stuck on the side of the road and you have to plug a tire on the side of the road, you want to really gob that thing up with the with the rubber cement. Okay, here we go. In there. Now, once it's in there, let it sit there and count to 20, which you're not going to have to suffer through. We're going to jump. Now that it's sat there for a while, you can take a pair of pliers or not take a pair of pliers. Either way, it doesn't matter if you've got this nice big handle right here. You can get a really good firm grip on the handle and put your shoulder towards it and yank like you're going to be starting a push mower. Yank that sucker right out of there. See, it left it in there. And there is a little bit sticking up right there. That's why you keep an old sticky piece of paper from an old kit and keep a razor on it. Now this is better if you get one of those little razor holders like I've got for scraping windows and stuff to hold it with. It's a lot safer. And you definitely want to wear gloves with this. Either way, you're going to take that razor, you're going to lay it flat against the tire, and you're going to saw back and forth a little bit until you cut that excess loose from there. And there all the excess is gone. Stick your razor back on there. What I like to do is take the remainder of the plugs right here and lay it over top of that razor in that old piece of plastic that came with the last kit so that I've got my razor trapped in there where it can't cut anybody or anything and ready for the next patch job. Now we're going to put it back on the Mach 1. Don't forget to top it off with air again. Now, if you are wondering if this is the same body style Mustang Mach 1 that was used in the James Bond movie, then you're very smart and you are correct because it is the same body style as the James Bond car. The difference is, is that they had the hoods painted, especially for that movie. And so the black is different on the hoods in those cars used in the movie. And yes, that is the movie where they took these Mustangs and did the stunt where they went down the alley and drove the full length of the alley on two wheels. But they had to do that stunt several times to get it just right on camera. And if you notice during that movie, they go into the alley and they're up on two wheels on one side of the car. And then when they come out of the alley, they're on the other two wheels, <laughs> which is kind of strange, but it's because they, there was probably something wrong with all the footage of them coming out of the alley when they were on the other two wheels. And since they filmed it several times, because they knew that there might be some footage that, that wasn't good. They ended up using, for whatever reason, ended up using that footage where they were on the other two wheels coming out of the alley. Seems like it would have been easier just to mod the car and do the stunt on the same two wheels every time. But I wasn't there when it was filmed, so I don't know what they were struggling with to get that footage. But I know it must have been a lot of work because I haven't seen anybody else doing it. I think there are a couple of films where they do two wheel stunts with the cars that are not CG. Now CG doesn't count. So if you know which movies those are and what kind of car they're doing two wheel stunts on, then put something in the comments about it. Share with us. And if you've got video or pictures of your car or other cars, if you want to share, 
with all the rest of our hashtag insane friends. We have a sane auto Facebook page. Just for you guys so you can go share your stuff too. Because you know YouTube doesn't let you put pictures of your cars and stuff to share with us in the comments below the video. Which would be nice, you know. We'd like to see your stuff too. And but you can do that on our St. Auto Facebook page. If you're watching our repairs and stuff and you want to share some stuff about that particular repair on that video, then you're welcome to reference that video on the St. Auto Facebook page and put pictures of whatever tool you're using or whatever you're doing that you think uh, might help make the job easier and uh, share that way. A lot of y'all have some really great ideas and some really great input and we'd be happy to see it. In the next video, you know, yeah.